welcome to Bali Fusion Program in your voice segment with me, Chaudia Fee. Right now, I'm sitting with a cultural observer, Mr. Madi Wijay. Om Swastiastu. Sir, who is the Balinese holy man? The Balinese holy man is Padanda Made Gunung from Blah Batu in Ganya. And he has his own television program about Balinese culture and religion. He's very popular. Sir, who invited Padanda Gunung to Java? Padanda Gunung was invited by the Bupati Wonosobo, which is a big town not far from Borobudur, about two hours' drive. And he is the, the keeper with two other provinces of the Dieng Plateau, which is a famous farming area where the oldest monuments, Hindu monuments from the 8th century are found in Java. Sir, what was the Dutch looking building? Why the Australian Prime Minister Whitlam and Suharto there? Well, the, the Dutch looking building is the Pondok Bupati. It's the official guest house of the mayor, the Bupati. And it was once a Dutch plantation owner's mansion and there was once a famous meeting between President Suharto and Prime Minister Gough Whitlam in that crazy barbecue shirt by Mambo, no doubt, talking about international relations. So it's, there's a plaque on the wall and um, they served us a really delicious Javanese breakfast before we went off in a convoy up to Dieng Plateau to look for the site of a Hindu temple to be built for the, for the Hindus in Java. Because we know that there are pre-Hindu Javanese who believe in the spirits of the lakes and the spirits of the mountains. And there are still Hindu Javanese and it's become quite popular in the last few years to uh, re-spiritualize re, uh, Minuchi Kan Kambali various old Chandis, Chandi Chetto in central Java recently. So now there's talk the Wanosobo mayor is sponsoring uh, the building of a new temple for the Hindu community, Hindu Javanese. Sir, what was the Padanda Gunung doing? Was he praying or meditating? Something? Well, our first stop in the Dieng Plateau, which is an hour's drive from Wanosobo and a beautiful drive through um, their famous potato country and lots of cabbages. Mm. Our first stop was the Three Coloured Lake, which is a mystical place with many holy springs. Going back for maybe 1200 years, Hindu and Javanese holy men have sought, uh, Wahyu have sought spiritual guidance in these caves. President Sukarno, President Suharto, Gustur, the charismatic Muslim holy man, President of Indonesia have all meditated there. So on this day, the Padanda Gunung also meditated in a cave where some Hindu statues of Shiva had been presented by the ex governor of Bali, Dewa Brata. And uh, who, who is the man who wear the Javanese costume? Ah. This is the Juru Kunshi, he's the keeper of the key. It very, gets very Lord of the Rings at this point. Because here we are in sort of Middle Earth, Middle Java, and you have this wonderful keeper of the key in the Javanese Blancon and the Javanese traditional costume. And he allows people who are seeking guidance into the holy well, into the holy cave. And he talks to them about their experiences. So on this day, he had a good chat to the, the Padanda Gunung, who said that. I said, did you, did you get any, any message from the other side? And he said, well, it was rather like a, a light bulb where the glass was a bit dirty. Sir, there's a photo. You were standing with a Muslim elder. Who is that? Ah, uh, this was the uh, head of the Muslim community in Wanasobo. And I, I asked him if it was true that there were uh, 400 Hindus up there. And, and he said, no, nah, there aren't any. It turns out that the Hindus were still down town and didn't get the news in time. And then at the um, museum later on I saw there were photographs of what looked like big Balinese ceremonies. I thought, what have they done here? Taken photographs from Bali, put them in the museum. Very good museum. Beautiful Indian looking statues, Ganesha's, Shiva's, fantastic things. The, the temple, the, uh, the small temples are really beautiful. And I asked in the car park of Chandi Arjuna when I was having some noodles, is it true that there are Hindu ceremonies here and she said yes on Suro which is the big day for the Javanese 
mystics, the first day of the Javanese calendar, thousands of Balinese come and hold big Shiwa Eid ceremonies. So here we have evidence of a 1200 year old Hindu ritual, unbroken to this day, where you have the Hindu priest going up to Dieng and praying. And a thousand years ago, the Javanese Hindu priest brought Hindu to Bali, and now the, the Balinese Hindu priests are taking it back to Java in, in a way. Sir, in the next day, you and Fernando Dunu went to an archaeological site in Yogyakarta, right? Yes, that was an incredible experience because they've just discovered a 10th century Chandi in mint condition. So the Padanda was very touched. He said it was, it was amazing, but very sad. And I imagine the sadness was for a Hindu holy man to see this beautiful temple with its statues of Nandis and Ganeshas, which had been under the lava dust for a thousand years and no ceremonies offered. So it was wonderful to see the archeological service have done a very good job making the site secure. It's within the Universitas Islam Indonesia in Jogja, which is incredibly well funded. So hopefully the statues won't be stolen this time because it is a very important part of the, of the what the French call the patrimoine, the heritage of the country, its history. And this is the only temple I think ever to be found with all of the statues in place. So it's very important for Indonesia, for Java, Javaologists particularly. Okay, Pamade, thank you very much for your information and for your time. Well, viewers, that's our interview with Pamade Wijaya. Please enjoy my beautiful country. Om, Om Santi Santi Santi. Santi.